new in CA APM 10.2. Enterprise Team Center gives you visibility of your complete environment. In this quick guide video for administrators, we'll show you how to set up an Enterprise Team Center environment and create universes for your analysts. Enterprise Team Center is a new system that allows you to view information and triage problems from any part of your environment. An Enterprise Team Center server centralizes APM data in a single Enterprise Manager and provides the single point of access for all of your analysts. The ETC server links all of the MOMs and standalone Enterprise Managers that together constitute the Enterprise environment. We call ETC server the master and the Enterprise Managers providing the information the providers. Team Center divides the environment into logical sections for day-to-day -day monitoring and triaging. These logical sections are called universes. A universe can include components from any part of the environment including cross-clusters. Components can be shared in more than one universe. The universes enable the administrator to refine the number and types of components into meaningful groups that users can work with. We recommend that you install a dedicated Enterprise Manager as the ETC server. You can specify the ETC server configuration during the installation or you can change the ETC server property later in the Interscope Enterprise Manager properties file. In this example, we are going to connect the Canada Enterprise Manager to the ETC environment. To connect a provider to the master, log in as an administrator in the master instance of Team Center. First, you will need to generate a security token. In the master instance of Team Center, click Security and generate new token. Give a token a name, select System, and set an expiry date. Note that by default, the calendar shows a date a year from now. Select an expiry date and click Generate Token. For security reasons, this is the only time you see this token. Make sure to copy and save it before closing this dialog window. You will need a new token for each provider that you register. Now, log in as an administrator in the provider instance of Team Center. Click Settings and go to the Enterprise tab. Click Register this Team Center instance with Enterprise Team Center. Enter the URLs and the security token and test the configuration. If the test is good, click Register. The provider is now in registering state. You can cancel the registration at this stage. In the Master Instance of Team Center, in the Providers tab, you can see the provider is registering. You can cancel the registration from the Master side by clicking the Cancel Registration button. Restart the provider to complete the registration. The Master automatically refreshes when the provider comes online. In the Providers page, you can also deregister a provider and set a provider into Maintenance Mode. We recommend that you set Maintenance Mode whenever you need to change the configuration of the provider or upgrade. By default, a universe is created for each provider. If you go to the Universes tab, you can see that the provider is connected and you can see the number of nodes that are being connected to the ETC server. After the polling interval, we can see that the Canada provider reports results. We can see that the total number of nodes reported by all providers is higher than 50,000. This means that we are exceeding the clamp for display on the map. If we go to the map, we can see that it's blank, other than the warning message that the clamp is active. Now, we need to create some universes in order to navigate this environment. As the administrator, you will need to establish numerous universes to create a series of manageable spaces that users can easily switch between to make navigation of the enterprise environment easy for the investigation. Alternatively, the administrator can use the same universe to ensure that specific user access is restricted as required by company security requirements. In the Universes tab, click Create Universe. We will normally create a universe with a transaction path filter this ensures that the user of this universe can see complete transactions. Click plus and check follow transaction path. Select an attribute name to filter by and then select the attribute values. You can see that in this example an individual filter condition is not sufficient to reduce the number of nodes below the 50,000 clamp. 
so we will add more conditions until we get to a manageable number. Once you have created the filter group that contains all the nodes for your analyst's universe, click Save Universe. Give the universe a name and click Continue. You can see the new universe in the Universes tab. Now you need to assign users to this universe. Click Plus, enter the user ID, in this case Pete, click Add and Save. You can edit, rename, and delete a universe with these action buttons. When Pete logs into the ETC environment, he is taken straight to his universe. We hope you've enjoyed the quick guide for Enterprise Team Center. Check out our other quick guides to learn about the other new features in Team Center.